Okay, you start with your model on the app. Uh, then what you do is you put the model through uh, through the slicer. The slicer chops the model up and generates your G-code. It's uh, quite fast on the mobile phone. Let's just see. Okay, uh, you didn't get these G-code instructions like these which the printer will use to print the model. Okay. And then you can see printer is uh, has heated up to 200 degrees and then we can home it quickly. Okay, and then we can start the print. Right, so we're here with uh, Gerard and Peter, um, who've got some of the most interesting technology I've seen for a long time, and I see a lot of technology. Um, they've blown me away, frankly. So guys, I wanted you to tell me a little bit what this is, what is it, and why are you doing it? So maybe Gerard, let's start with you. Well, this is our home-built home 3D printer, which we've built for a school project. Right. But we've taken it a step further and decided to make a mobile app, which will allow us to print from our mobile phone. Right. Yep. Yes, right. that's yeah, basically see, the that's, idea. That's truly amazing. Now, Harold, tell me a bit about the electronics. Uh, uh, I studied engineering. I don't think I could make this, so I'm quite embarrassed at the moment. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, stuff. well the thing about the electronics is our whole printer is based on designs from the RepRap community. Right. But the issue with the RepRap community is they don't really have affordable yet powerful electronics. Right. So we decided to take one of their designs, which works with an Arduino based microcontroller. Right. And just give it this neat little shield and just make it work better. Okay. And that allowed us to add Bluetooth capabilities quite right. easily. Cost. Now, uh, there's a phone on yes. the edge of the table there, yes. right? And uh, that phone's not physically connected to anything on this, this table, but you assure me that it's actually printing from the phone. What's the difference about using the phone? Well, the thing about the phone is uh, our main goal is to make 3D printing available for Africa. Right. And the thing we've noticed is most people in Africa don't have personal computers, they have right. smartphones. Right. So ours can now print from a smartphone and basically does it through Bluetooth. So right. that's why you don't see any cables there. Okay, so you had to make the Bluetooth thing work, right? Yes, we had to make the Bluetooth okay. thing work. Yes. And, and is it true to say that, uh, that, that you're able to render on the smartphone? So in other words, you're doing what you call it, the slice set? What we're doing is we're taking the STL model, which you can yeah. download or design yourself. Right. Then we're slicing it and then we're rendering it also. Yes. And you're doing that on the phone? Yes. So I think for me that is the most amazing thing, the, the fact that you're able to do this on a phone. A lot of people plug a printer into a computer and they download an image and they press go and it prints. Yeah. But the fact that you, and you wrote the app yes. as well, right? Okay, between the two of you guys. Right. You basically have a specialized gear there with sharp teeth and then that would grip the, um, the plastic filament, it's, it's kind of like a rack and pinion um, mechanic. What right. happens, yeah, it, the stepper motor turns it and then it pushes it down through a 0.5 millimeter hole there at the bottom and that the, the entire um, brass part you can see there is um, 200 degrees Celsius in this case. Um, it's heated up with a um, um, heater resistor and then the temperature is controlled um, with the use of a thermistor at the microcontroller. And, and just tell me again, how old are you guys? 45? <laughs> um, no, no. Where did you get your <laughs> master's? How old are you? Uh, I'm actually 15. 15. Um, grade 15. Grade 9. Okay, 15, right? Um, this is really, really impressive, guys. I'm, I'm blown away. So I think this might be 
a world first. I, I, we haven't been able to confirm it, but I've looked and I think this is the first time ever that a phone printed a cover for itself, which is truly, truly amazing and I congratulate you. I think it's an amazing achievement. It really, really is. Um, firstly, to see this level of innovation from a team this young is incredible. I, I think all of us see a lot of technology, we see a lot of uh, innovation, but it's often quite incremental and it's often on the back of really big budgets from really big corporates. Uh, these are two guys who at home have put together something that is truly amazing. They've built the printer, they've um, built the electronics, they built an app, and they built and they then printed the cover from the Lumia device itself. Mm -hmm.